Hey, how's it going? Hey. Oh! I'm, I'm here. I am awake. I just need to build up my strength for a second. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I live. How's it going? I'm only going to read and answer one person who answers that. Alright, everyone else, I don't care. I, I only have enough bandwidth to care about one person's response. I'm good. Good. That person speaks for all of you today. Good. That's so generic. Sometimes you wake up and have a normal day. <laughs> Chat. This always this is always one of the things that really pisses me the heck off. Why know something makes me mad every time someone asks? When they ask something like How was your day? What'd you do today? And the response that I sometimes have to reply with is I didn't do anything, nothing happened. I've seen the eyes of people when I say something like that. I've seen it in their face as they say, holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? This dude really just said nothing to that? He had nothing? Sometimes you don't have anything. <laughs> sometimes you just have a normal, boring fucking day. Can't you just say can can't you just say it was fine? How is your day is supposed to be a conversation starter? You know what's a conversation starter? <laughs> you got there's way better conversation starters out there, dude. I swear to god, I can pull out some real good ones. I can pull out some real good ones. Like, I don't know, what's your favorite scientific name for a bug? There's some good ones out there. There's some bangers. That takes you places. That's a bad conversation. No, it isn't. The one for cockroach, as it should be. Listen, the only kind of conversation starters I want to use are ones that give me a warning quickly when I start a conversation with anyone if they're fucked in the head and I don't want to talk to them anymore about anything else. Do you understand? Cut, to, cut this shit quickly so I know if this person's a psycho. Alright, I ask them what their favorite scientific term for a bug is, and then they say, Megaloblata longi penis. And then I go, alright, you're in. Anyone doesn't say that, they're out. Anyone thinks about it, then produces that, they're, they're out. <laughs> no, short my fucking bandwidth is. Do you love your parents? That one's very personal, though. You don't want it to be something deeply personal. I don't want to know about the whole life story in the short t in like the fucking small talk. Ooh, favorite word. That's a good one. Like, I don't know. As I get older, chat, as I become more and more aged and crusty, as the gray hairs stretch across my beautiful full mane of hair. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. Many of the days become the days where nothing happened of any substance or consequence. It's all the same stretching out into the distance. It's all the same. Every day I wake up and my joints are stiff. Yo, my joints are good. 
My back is good. My joints are good. Everything in that regard of my life is fucking good. My body right now is thriving. Well, aside from like, sometimes I have like tummy problems lately. But like, that's okay. The rest of me is doing so well that I can ignore that part. Are you going to voice Mario? Wah! Nah, I don't think so. I think I just fucked it up right there. No, I don't think I can do that one. Mushroom Kingdom? Here we- No, I don't think I can do it. I give up. I can't. Wahoo! No, I can't. <laughs> I just don't have that much confidence in myself. Dude. What a... Yeah, I just saw the fucking thing about Charles Martinet or whatever, uh... Stepping down as the voice actor for the Mario. And I swear to God, if, like... So it wouldn't happen, but if like they were like, and it's Chris Pratt forever now, I think, I think there would be like fucking actual outrage on the streets. People would be like fucking like tearing street signs down. Like, I think there'd be outrage. <laughs> there would be a great, there would be a great uprising. <laughs> Full on riots. Damn. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I'm, uh... I've never... And maybe this is a controversial take. As much as I quite enjoy the wahs and yahoos of Mario, I also, like... I feel like I won't be able to notice the difference because everyone's been doing those Mario sounds for so fucking long now that there's absolutely someone who sounds exactly like Charles Martinet that they will likely use to replace him. Uh, like, instantaneously, without losing a fucking beat. Because it's just one of those voices that people just, like, replicate for, like, impressions and shit. With it, if they didn't tell you it was a different person, you wouldn't probably know until the credits of a game rolled at this point, probably. What's wrong with you? He's become the ambassador of Mario. <laughs> it's not like Nintendo like immediately took him out back and blew his brains out all over the barn wall. He's become the ambassador of Mario. <laughs> you see, don't you understand? He's the ambassador for all Marios. Hell, he might he might as well be the president of Marios. Imagine being a Mario reading the fucking news today and being like, "Oh shit. <laughs> that guy's my guy." And the, being really confused that Nintendo has the power to fucking, like, claim the ambassador of Mario's. Think about it. I bet you didn't know his name until the movie and everyone complained. That's wrong. <laughs> nah, dude. There's only, like, a few voice actors that I actually, like, know the, like, the names of. Based off of like exclusively one character that they voice, and it's like Charles Marnay, uh, David Hayter, uh, and then uh, pa pass, pass on the rest of them. Yeah, pass. No, 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 don't bring up more. I already passed. I don't want any more. Stop. I don't care. I need to be so clear. I don't care. 
I'm not good with names. Jimmy New No, I'm pretty sure Jimmy Neutron didn't voice any characters in any video games because Jimmy Neutron's not real, idiot. God, how about you come back to Earth? Where we are in reality right now. He can't, he's on planet Sheen. Isn't he absolutely, like, no, he isn't. No, we're not getting into this. I'm not, I'm actually not going to fucking do this right now. It's going to make me mad. The Sheen rant again. I just fucking hate him. I just hate him. The best outro they could have done for Shane, for fucking Sheen is exploding his head in that one episode where his brain got really big. Kill him off. Fucking show children the uh, the concept of mortality clarified in one fucking bad decision. Okay? That's all it would have taken. Pfft, dead. Finish it. Get rid of him. I've seen children's shows be darker. <laughs> I've seen darker shows and moves in shows. Okay, they could have. It would have. It wouldn't have been much for them to fucking take Sheen down. Like what, dude? I actually saw this clip kind of recently. Uh, you remember like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? I didn't remember this when I was a kid, but I did my fucking research afterwards. Uh, there was a part where, like, the bully kid was like, I want, like, pizza, and then, like, an imaginary pizza slice is like, Hi, I love you, you're my best friend, and he fucking eats it as it's saying it, and it starts going, Yeah! And then dies. Like, it actually, like, screams as it's completely devoured and dies. Like, that's actually the whole clip. And I, I, like, forgot that happened. Show it. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't want to. You can look it up. All right. If you want to find that one, that's out there. It is. It is not the a gif of it. Does not do it justice. Uh, there is a fucking actual guttural scream as this. Creature is brought to life and within less than three seconds fully devoured. Like it unlocked a memory. It, uh, like that, that was like a, that was a thing that I like, as a kid, I was like, ha, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> None of this matters. Where are the funny characters again? But now as an adult, I'm like, holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Holy crap. What the? I think, I think children are being ex exposed to too much violence. Mm-hmm. I think we gotta get rid of all these shows. Full of too much violence gonna taint their minds. Yep. We have to, we, we have to think about their futures. They might end up all fucked up like me if this goes on. <laughs> think about it, chat. Look at how I ended up and I saw that shit. I'm all fucked in the head. And I'll tell you why. Pizza scene. Pizza scene.
That's so sad. I just didn't know. How could anyone know? Tomato, you can't blame it all on the pizza scene. Yeah, watch me. As a matter of fact, I can. And I just did. It's that easy. I never have to possibly even for a moment consider deconstructing why else I might be all kinds of you know what I mean? Because I'm just not going to. I blame this one scene for all of my problems. And that's why I swear to God, when I become president of the United States of America, I will ban all entertainment. <laughs> all of it. We're done with it. <laughs> Does the entertainment ban come before or after we pave the ocean? Believe it or not, you can do two things at the same time, and I will be. Both. <laughs> we can multitask. We can. Children will have no time for cartoons in the mines. That's what I've been fucking saying for years, chat. That's what I've been saying for years. <laughs> what a beautiful world we're imagining together now. What a beautiful world. I mean, in a post-Minecraft world, there's gotta be at least some kids that have had their fucking brains rotted so hard by that shit that they actually think that it'd be badass to work in a coal mine. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, post-brain rot Minecraft world, there's gotta be kids that are like, Dude, what I wouldn't fucking give to be a coal miner, dude! <laughs> just like, just like, Steve, bro! When do we get to- when do we get to the obsidian, bro? I'm looking for diamonds! Boss, I'm gonna strip mine! I'm looking for diamonds, dude! I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Right out of the Bitcoin brain mining operation. <laughs> Straight to playing Minecraft for two years for training, and then the coal mines. Boom! Boom! Rapid fire! That's just Metal Gear Rising? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blast a diggy diggy hole over the PA system, they will work harder. <laughs> Dude, I... This is... Like, the thing is, every, every time, there's so many alternate reality theories out there and, like, alternate timeline bullshit. There is a fucking world where I am a absolute supervillain and have completely guaranteed all of this bullshit is real. And it is terrifying to deeply imagine that. I'd never. I'd never. In this timeline. <laughs> Let me be clear for any, uh, any staff that might be listening. I'd never consider doing any of those things in this timeline. <laughs> you have my word. These are all jokes and bits in this timeline. 
I cannot be held accountable for what any version of me may be compelled to do in an alternative timeline. You understand. This timeline is this timeline is cringe. Always has been, dude. It always has been. Look, not. I'm sorry that we all live in the most cringe timeline. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. There's nothing we can do. What was our cringe canon event? The one the one thing that locked us into this timeline? The most cringe thing that happened? Hmm. Harambe? Harambe was not that was not a cringe event. Chat, if anything that happened with Harambe was something that was like, I cringed. Like <laughs> That was that wasn't a cringe moment. <laughs> that, dude, what do you mean that was that was cringe? Dude, I cringed. Damn. The molasses flood of 1919. You know what? Hang on, I'm thinking. Hmm. I was actually trapped in a house with some hoarders when Harambe was killed, so it was a dark time. Yeah, but... And I mean this in the best way possible. Those two things have nothing in common with each other other than they happened at the same time. You can't be like, I can't believe Harambe <laughs> could possibly have had anything to do with my being trapped in this house with hoarders. These are just, the world was just a dark place, I guess, at the same time for you, is what you're getting at. I, I don't know. Hoarders freak me out. <sighs> Spoken like someone that doesn't uh, assume that the value of anything they own could suddenly spike suddenly in like a hundred years or like 50 years or even 10 years and all of a sudden you're cashing out big time. I don't know. I, I also say that as someone who keeps very little things. Uh, I, am, I am a person that's like so fast to be like, give this away, get rid of it. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Sell this, give it away, give it to someone. Be gone. I'm done with you. L like your can opener. I didn't give that away. That was stolen. Do you not have a pile? No, I have I don't have any piles of anything. Kick the pile of plastic bottles now. Uh, no, I actually don't have a pile of plastic bottles. I have an actual fucking bin. Okay, for my garbage. For my bottles. Like a human. <laughs> and it's just about time to empty it, actually. Rattle the bin. Did you hear that? 
mean, he's got bottles in it, but it's like a plastic bin. It's just a bin for plastic bottles, and I take them all out when it's garbage day. Damn, he wins again. I, I don't know what you're trying to get out of me. Like, uh, like, I'm sorry. Is it crazy to have a like a bin for your like plastic bottles if you use plastic bottles a lot? Because I'm not out here about to drink out of the fucking faucet. All right. And I don't always like waiting around for the goddamn like filtered like like jug to like filter water for me when I pour in from the tap. Okay. Like what? Like you're going to fucking squint at my like like my actually totally normal bin of recyclables that I have in my office and be like, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you can't do anything right. When I know to the left or right of you is probably trash. Trash. You look down at your ankles, trash. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I look in the mirror and see trash, says a chat member. Holy, holy, dude, what the heck? Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I'll be honest, the cleanliness of my office space and my bedroom space pretty much uh, is in direct. It, it, <laughs> you can walk into my room and know my mental state at any given time. Like, I, I'm, I'm one of those kinds of people. Does that make sense? Some people will get it. You can walk in and be like, oh, he's been having like a he's like tired. <laughs> he is not sleeping very well. <laughs> Is that true of your facial hair also? A hundred percent. If I'm in like fucking good brain space or like not tired or whatever, my face is fully shaved or like stubble, no more than stubble at any point in time. I think that's like super normal. Is that why you have a full beard? I've never, I don't think I've ever let any of my facial hair grow past like half a centimeter in my entire life. Nor do I plan to. Because he can't. No, I could. I just don't want to. I just don't want to, dude. My face, it gets so itchy. And when it gets itchy, it pisses me off. And when I get pissed off, I get angry, which is to me actually like pretty much the same thing. And then after that, my blood pressure goes up and then I explode. And then that's everyone's problem again. I don't know how many times I need to be clear what happens. We do not want me to explode. God's sake, you are like Majin Vegeta, but with a 24-7 detonation threat. What the fuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that's a that's a goddamn reference to only like some people that like know Dragon Ball Z would even get, but I'm one of them and it hits me and it hits me bad! Ah! 
Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I I don't even care, actually. Sorry, it's just quiet because I was I was blowing my fucking nose. I was, I was blowing my nose. Ew! Oh, that normal thing that people do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I I'm sorry I grossed you out so much by talking about uh by talking about like why I was quiet for a second. Dream title sounds AI generated stare. What? Living that nasty, filthy, dirty, junker lifestyle. The fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, is it? No. Dude, the only AI generated thing I've ever done or used is AI Dungeon before it got, like, bad. I've never relied on the input or help of an AI. Why not? Uh... Well, if you want me to be totally honest about why I wouldn't use an AI thing in any stream, uh, it's pretty simple, actually. Uh, and it's not me judging anyone else for doing it. People can do whatever they want. But, uh, I think that using AI on streams is a gimmick, and will overall, the more I use it, make me less and less effective of a streamer and a content creator on my own merits. Uh, so, I don't use AI for anything. For nothing. Not one thing. And no, I don't want examples of people that are using AI in a way that's fun or not. I don't care. <laughs> that wasn't the point. It's not something I would do. It's the same reason I'll, I'll never be a React streamer. I have my own stubborn obsessions and fixations with my job. React to AI. I am reacting right now to it and giving you my reaction. He'll never react to Skibbity Toilet. There's nothing you'd gain from my reaction to that. React yourselves for once. Doesn't even use autocorrect. The last time I let autocorrect do anything on my phone, it autocorrected like an actual word that I wanted to use to like something completely different four times in a row. I just had to keep on going like <clears throat> type this in. Autocorrect is like, you mean this, right? I fixed it for you again. Uh, you, hey, hey, idiot using the phone, you don't know what you're typing, let me fix it for you again. And eventually I just, like, went into my phone and ripped autocorrect out. Like, I just, like, disabled it completely. I hate autocorrect. The only correction shit I use is, like, the thing where it, like, fucking puts an underline under a word if you misspelled it. So I can, like, f correct it before I, like, click send. But whenever it's like, did you mean this? <gasps> oh! Fuck off! I don't think so, dude. No. I meant what I said. Even if what I said is, I'm proud of because my thumbs are too big to type. Okay? 
I meant every word I said. Every letter typed was what I meant, AI. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, but did you see the dual-wielding plunger guy in the latest skibbity toilet? When did that one come out? Brett's like a total, like, skibbity toilet freak. He, he fucking loves this shit. He's, like, messaging me a lot about skibbity toilet. Today? It's today. He's a real skibbity head. He fucking loves this shit. Watch it now. Uh, I don't want to. I uh, don't want to, actually. I'm sorry. Chad, I, oh, my internet died. I can't go on YouTube. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to try again later. Oh, jeez, my internet's out. I'm not gonna be able to look at it. No, no, Chad. I mean, like, when I go on Google right now, it shows the dinosaur that runs on the desert, and you gotta jump over the tumbleweeds. I don't have any internet. I'm sorry. I actually don't know how this dream's still on. That's kind of scary. That's kind of spooky. How the heck am I? Huh? They removed that years ago, streamer. This fucking dude doesn't know he's not using Chrome. This dude's on some other fucking browser when his internet's out and he doesn't know. <laughs> this dude's got fucking actual brain leakage happening or some shit. <laughs> Dude, the, you wanna know the thing that fucking pisses me off more so than anything in this world is whenever, like, you bring up what fucking browser you use and, like, 15 people that use something that isn't that one all start frothing at the mouth because they think their choice is any better. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, let me explain while that's, uh, why you're using the wrong one while also giving you no actual reasons to use mine. Let me get mad. Are you an iPhone or an Android user? Dude, I've never had an iPhone. <laughs> I actually fucking hate Apple. <laughs> I don't like their stuff. It's like Apple's like actually anti-consumer crap. I, I, I genuinely have like all of the like brand stuff that I will make a point to not use. I will make an active point to not use Apple products. Because <laughs> it's just so much hassle for me. Same with Burger King. What? <laughs> Wait, what, what's, what's your problem with Burger King? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you- someone came in with like a totally different state- Huh? What's your problem? Burger King? Like the- like the- the, the burgers? <laughs> the Burger King phone? Where are you? What are you talking about? Sneak King stream when? Dude, one of the fucking most- like the easiest ways to filter out someone that has- like that's like new. And by new I mean someone that came into stream in the last like six years and doesn't know anything. Uh, I, one of my first streams once I started doing full-time streams was Sneak King, idiot. Holy crap. Actually fake fan.
real fake fan. Dude, the disc incident was possibly that stream. Literally. You don't know anything about anything, and it shows. He's so mean. I'm just full, dude, I, I got so much hate in my soul. <laughs> I've got so much darkness and rage in here, it's actually fucking agonizing. Holy crap. Dude, I haven't had a I haven't had a Burger King burger since I was like 14 at like a freaking like highway rest stop. And you know what? It wasn't bad. Matter of fact, I think I got whatever the largest version of a Whopper was because I was like, I was a growing lad. And I slammed that shit and people thought I was a freak. It was like on a field trip. I slammed that shit. I got the big one. And people looked at me like I was an animal. Humble brag. No, no, there's no brag. People looked at me like I was a freak. I didn't gain anything. <laughs> I was I was treated as if I was a wild animal that like had broken into the building. Okay, it was not a good thing. Now he consumes the bell. Dude, I haven't had the Taco Bell in like a, in a long time, actually. I can literally go down my orders on like fucking like DoorDash and literally find when I last had Taco Bell. If it's even saves that much. Let me check. No, let me check. Let's check. Pieces of shit. Let's see how long it takes me to find Taco Bell. Uh, I'm down to June. No Taco Bell to be expected. Uh, no Taco Bell. Uh, I'm down to uh, May now. No Taco Bell. It's, it's easy not to do Taco Bell when I have like a god tier Mexican place. Like Tex-Mex place. Literally like right by my house that I now get like all my tacos and stuff from and it's a million times better. So it's not like I'm out here getting Taco Bell because I want the food. I've got better. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. I'm down to April. No Taco Bell. Uh, I'm down to March. No Taco Bell. Oh, found it! Last time I had Taco Bell... I ordered a che uh, fucking cheesy gordita crunch and a chalupa supreme, and it was on March 16th. And I know I regretted it. Even now, I know I regretted it. Five months ago, time to order again. March 17th stream got canceled, I member. No, it fucking didn't. I'm scrolling up to the announcements. I'm scrolling up to announcements on the, uh, 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 on the Discord. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling all the way up. I'm checking. April 28th. What, what, what day was it? March 17th? You fucking people think you're going to get me. You're not going to get me that easy. I streamed on March 17th. I did. Oh, I lived. Oh, I lived. What did you stream? I think it, the name of the announcement is locked out of my place of business. The employees inside pretending not to notice. I think it was some kind of business game. I think it might have been, um, I think it might have been, uh, that, uh, business game that I played quite a bit of, uh, big, 
big ambitions. I think it. I think it was big ambitions. Yeah, I think it might have been uh, big ambitions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fucking pushover. Okay, other people when they have the Taco Bell in their tummy, they crumble. They crumble. Okay, me. Nothing was gonna slow me down. Not for a moment. Not for even a fucking second. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm not an idiot. I fold like a lawn chair when I eat the bell. Chat, some of you, like, dude, why eat something if it's going to break you so hard? What's the point? Okay, I eat spicy food quite a bit. And the reason I can justify that is that I've never had a point where it has alone been the reason that I'm like, oh yes, I am miserable. To my knowledge, I've never had a point where I was able to cross-reference that even with the weird gastrointestinal shit that I have, apparently. I've never had a point where eating something like super spicy has been the direct catalyst that I could see clearly. Now, simultaneously, I do not order uh, the spiciest option from anywhere. <laughs> simultaneously, I have not at any point in my adult life been like, I'd like to choose the die option on the... Uh, Garçon? Garçon, uh, come over here. Uh, I'd like to make an adjustment to my order. You see, I didn't see the part on, my, uh, on the menu here that said the one that would kill me. Um, I want the, I want the, uh, the spice level of kill me, please, as fast, <laughs> as fast as you can, thank you. <laughs> like, I don't know, spiciness is good until, like, you know that it's gonna hurt you, you know, and I've never, uh, I've, I've never wanted to do that to myself. Like, ima like, truly, imagine being someone that willingly put, like, a ghost pepper into their body. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, what, are you what is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Not even for clout? Who get- Dude! Dude! Who gives two shits about clout? Do you think, dude, chat, chat, if I fucking downed a ghost pepper and people are like, dude, he got so much clout, the next day you'd still be posting fucking clips of me embarrassing myself like nothing happened. And if I went, but what about the ghost pepper I ate, guys, please? You'd be like, Omega oh, lol, who cares? Who cares? Shut the fuck up, doofus. So what do you fucking mean? Yeah, right. That's like, it's just real-time clout until the second that all the ghost pepper has been, like, like evacuated from my body over the next day. And then after that, it's back to business as usual. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you get negative clout, you put poison in you. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fucking be sitting there like, hell yes, man, that dude's a badass, while he's talking about, like, fucking, like, shitting his intestines out because he ate so much of the ghost pepper. I'm not- Dude, that's negative clout. I do not- I feel bad for you. Matter of fact, I pity you. I- I, I feel nothing but pity for you. That's not clout. They literally grow them for eating. They aren't poison. That's cope. <laughs> You're coping, dude. <laughs> it's made to be eaten. It's it's good. It's tasty. <laughs>
Yeah. No, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. Do Nintendo Switch games still taste bad? Just wondering. I don't see why Nintendo would suddenly be like, and now we're done making them taste bad. It was a funny little Easter egg to people that put fucking cartridges in their mouths. No, I'm going to assume they still taste bad. But I don't know. I've never, I've never been a person to put like stuff in my mouth that shouldn't be in my mouth like food. So, um, that shit never really was anything to me. Only food goes in there. Just food. All right. Define food like a nice long hog, hot dog, something like that. Food like that, brother. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with a you know, big old hog. <laughs> Stop. What's what? What pray tell am I even doing wrong today? I'm so tired of this shit. I haven't done anything. Listen. The people that complain about me using the word hog are the same people that use the word fucking glizzy and I think that's the most I think that's like absolutely terrible and I wish I could I and I should have it banned. <laughs> I should have it banned cuz I think that one's terrible. You did not accuse me of saying glizzy? I didn't. I literally didn't. You're right. <laughs> there wasn't a single point where I did. You just you just met Katie, I I, I did I I wasn't. I hate the word glizzy. I think it's a nasty. It's a hot dog. It's a hog. All right. How the hell could anyone arrive anywhere else? What the fuck is a glizzy? Sounds like a sex thing. It sounds nasty. It doesn't sound good. Listen, here's the acceptable things for hot dog. Hot dog. You say like. Hog. And there you have it. Wiener? No one says wiener. Okay, that is absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. Not in a million years. Someone says wiener for like hot dog. They're weird. I'm sorry. No. Nope. I don't think so. Sorry. Nope. It is your job as someone's friend. If they say, I'm going to order a wiener anywhere in public you tell them that they need to change themselves for the better and you guide them on that path as their friend okay you sit them down and you say from now on when you order a hot dog at anything you say one large hog please <laughs> and you tell them you tell them you tell them just like that, you sit them down. I don't know, dude. I couldn't be around someone like that. If someone around me that I care about said, One glizzy, please! What the fuck? What? No, ain't gonna fly like that no longer. Nope. Dude, I can't be around someone like that. You know? I just can't be. That's normal. Like, if someone walked up to me and they said, 
and they said, like, hey, Tomato, the way you say, like, and this goes both ways, okay? This is just common courtesy stuff. If someone, if I ordered a hog, <laughs> the way I order hogs, if I said one massive hog, please, with all the fixings, and then the person next to me was like, you can't say it like that ever again, please, I'm begging you, I can only handle so much concentrated cringe before I fucking die, I'd be like, I'm sorry, bud. That won't happen again. At least not around you. And then we move on with our lives. And they did one massive glizzy, all the fixings. And I said, you can't fucking say that shit ever around me again. That's just what friends do. They fucking walk it back to make the other person more comfortable. Okay? You get one around me. You get one round to say your fucking, the weird way you fucking say something. Or act like a fool. But after that. After that. Shit changes. Okay? Two-way street. We will all one day just say hot dog because it's the only one that's actually okay. <laughs> Everything else, nothing. I will keep saying dog. One dog, please. No, because then you're going to be... Actually, honestly, if you say, Hi, can I get one dog, please? And then they just hand you a full dog. Like, a, a just a happy dog. Really happy to be there. Dude. That'd be cool. Just a dog hanging out. Really happy. It's... Dude, it's not complicated to be like one hot dog. Like, how much... No one's in that much of a rush. <laughs> Just say you want a hot dog. Or, you know, you say you want one massive hog. One large hog, please. It really sounds bad. What the heck is so bad about saying I want one hog? <laughs> I don't understand why mine is so bad. What's wrong with sausage? Because that's something else! What? Hi, hi, you need to wake up. You have to wake up. You are not like the rest of them. That's not the same thing as a hot dog. Those are different foods. If I order a hot dog and someone gives me a sausage, I'm going to tell them they got my order wrong. I'm going to say, excuse me, this is a bratwurst or something. Uh, why did you get, the, I think you got the orders mixed up. And they, if they say to my face, no, that's a hot dog, I'm going to be baffled. Everyone knows those are different things. No, chat. You can't say that those are the same thing. Everyone knows they're different. If you say to someone a hot dog and a sausage are the same thing and there is no difference between those things, you are a sicko and you are chaotic evil. And you deserve to be thrown in jail. Food jail. No parole for life. Because you know it's not true. You know it's not true, and you're just doing it to spread chaos. I sentence you to exile. I open the manhole cover to the nearest sewer, and I push you in, and I seal it behind you. That's where you belong, down there, with the other creatures. A hot dog is literally a type of sausage. Yes, but not all sausages are hot dogs. Chat, that is the point I'm making, is that if you or- Dude! This cannot be happening! No one said that? Yes, they did! Someone just said that! Literally ritual sauce. A hot dog is literally a type of sausage. I have logs, motherfucker! You people have lost it!
Dude! This is like ordering fettuccine alfredo and they give you goddamn like elbows instead. And then they're like, it's okay because it's a kind of pasta, right? These are the same. What's wrong? Uh, no, I, I ordered, um, I definitely ordered a different thing, technically. All noodles, all pasta is the same. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? <clears throat> Hi, I ordered a burger and I got like a, like a club sandwich. Oh, that's basically the same though. <laughs> It's the same thing. Same shape, technically, right? <laughs> you don't know what you're getting around here. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What? You know I'm right. Just say hot dog then, fuck face. That's what I've been saying. All of you got confused, not me. That's what I, that's, that's what I've been saying. If you order a hot dog, you get a hot dog. You don't get a sausage. You get a hot dog. If you say, I'd like one sausage, please, and you get a hot dog, you say, no, this isn't what I wanted. A hot dog is a sausage though, but everyone knows that when you order a sausage, you are expecting a sausage and not a hot dog. And if anyone doesn't know that, they are a weirdo. Everyone knows this. But we were wrong. I'm not out here arguing the fucking specifics of food categorization. That's never what this was about. You all made a problem out of nothing. You got stuck in the details rather than the actual point I was trying to make, and that's your fault, not mine. You. You. Just like you always do. And now my blood pressure is going up. And you know what that you know what that means? I'm gonna bl I'm gonna explode. And then it's everyone's problem. I'm gonna make a crater the size of the moon when I do how high my blood pressure is. Seven million over two million. Has tomato ever been wrong? No, not once in my entire life. I'm proud to say. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually proud to uh, say that I haven't ever. Hey, thanks anonymous gifter for gifting 20 subs to the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. Gee, thanks. Chad, I'm actually officially the first human to never be wrong. It's a I actually got a medal for it. I got it sent to me just the other day. Show it? I can't. Tomato, what's 34 divided by 7? You see, the trick to never being wrong is never choosing anything uh, to answer that you could be wrong about. That's how you keep the fucking badge. It's by passing a lot. <laughs> it's easy.
What's two plus two? Pass. Chad, I've only ever answered like two questions in my entire life. <laughs> it's so easy. Teachers hate this one trick. Did you actually know that if you answer on a test or a quiz in school or any kind of education with pass, they actually can't include that in the final grade? It's a nothing question now. It doesn't exist anymore. They're not allowed to. You're only wrong if you actually answer it. If you skip it, go right over it or say pass, they can't do anything. Tomato, show your school test scores then, Mr. Never Wrong. Uh, oh, no, 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 because that wasn't me back then. I've experienced a full ego death since um, my education years. Yeah, different person. <laughs> You'll understand one day. Different cells, different person. It's science. Yep. Every part of me is a different thing than it was before. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you guys understand. I can see you understand. You all understand. So this entire stream is to is stolen property. Uh, I don't know where that comes from. This stream needs a gaslight tag. But I'm not gaslighting you. Once again... Once again, chat doesn't know what gaslighting means. I'm not surprised. Once again. Once again. All right, Chad, we go to the bathroom, then we're going to start playing the game. Okay, get excited. Everyone stop talking and get excited instead. I want to see excitement. I want to see, I want to see a lot of energy. I want to see a lot of people happy. Okay? Because if I don't see that, I'm going to get furious. And then I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get the, uh, the, um, well, I'm going to have to get the machine out again. So, like, we don't want that. So I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then uh, we'll uh, get started. Okay? Be right back.
the fuck? The vibes in here are goddamn rancid. Holy shit. Whatever, that's not even my problem. I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, anyways, um... Ship Graveyard Simulator. It's kind of like Hard Space. Should be a good time. Unless it's shit. You said you'd bring out the machine? I did. It's not an audio experience, the machine. It's, uh... It's more like, uh... It's more conceptual than that. It's uh, it's not something you can hear. It's something that just is. The machine is active, actually, right now. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's abstract, you see. When you sleep tonight, you'll be visited by three AI spirits. <laughs> <laughs> you will be visited by three different AI spirits. <laughs> And they're going to, they're going to freaking show you, and they're going to teach you a goddamn lesson. <laughs> the, the machine you see, it's very powerful. Alright, Ship Simulator 2. Uh, Ship Graveyard Simulator. Get excited, chat, let's get in there. This game is really fun. I literally wouldn't know. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Dude, relax, chill. Holy shit. Fucking hell. How do you like this game so far? I'm having such a fucking good time. Oh, you know I'm having fun. Huh? Hmm? Mm. Do you want to play tutorial? Yes. Oh, fuck! Why is that so loud? Okay. Uh, turn it down. I've been, I've been blasted. Okay. Here we are, my beautiful ship scrapyard. Welcome to my home. This is where I, this is literally where I live. Uh, this is, you know, chat, that's the thing you don't know about many like uh, dirty, nasty, like junkers is, um. Uh, they also just live in the junkyard. <laughs> They're not allowed to leave, it's part of the rules. Uh, you're not allowed to leave. Uh, you're also not allowed to wash your hands. I will be straight up fired if I wash my hands. All right, why did we hear? But you are allowed to have a perfectly functional. Ah, why are these sound effects so loud? Uh, perfectly functional laptop. Uh, so here we go. Buy my first ship. This one's free, and that's not what a ship looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, game. I've seen a lot of ships. That one ain't no ship. Let me just go ahead and... Do you really want to buy this ship? Buying a new ship will clear player, truck, and warehouse resources. Recycle first if you haven't done it already, okay? Let me take a look at my new beautiful pile of garbage. What's that? Is that it over there? Reach the location, okay? Wow, Chad, look. <laughs> it's a boat. Wow, neato. Wow. We can finally sail the seas. This is this is an open concept boat. Uh, believe it or not, you don't need walls to keep water out. You just need to have a lot of confidence. Uh, so the boat the water kind of just stays out of the way out of respect more so than anything. Uh So, uh, pick up 50 kilograms. Just pick it up. Okay, I'll, I'll pick it up. 
Gimme. The whole desk. Gimme. I mean that. That whole thing too. Uh, an entire shelf. And all the crap on it. Gimme. Uh, I've got I've got to throw 20 kilograms in the in the uh, truck and I have too much weight. Okay. You're ain't no way my guy thinks he can make this. What? He still thinks he can Absolutely no shot. <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! He's cracked! <laughs> He's crazy, dude. Junker lifestyle. Junker lifestyle. Junker lifestyle. Uh, construction elements are held by connectors. To get them, you must break the connectors first. Uh, left click to hit. Right click to bonk. Well, first I'm going to pick up the rest of the crap off of this fucking place. Because I just want it, like, out of the way. Before I start doing my thing. Hang on. This, you're telling me I can still technically get it? <laughs> Buh. Okay. Well, time to get to bonking and hitting. Let me, uh, I guess we'll start right here in the middle. Bonk. 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 Boom. And again, one, two, three, four. Guess if we can get a better sledgehammer eventually, do this faster. Might as well tear up all these walls. All these floors, at least. These corners. Oh! Oh! Dude, my dude has gotta be fucking huge. You know what I mean? Like, my guy's gotta be absolutely fucking gigantic doing this shit. Like, massive, like, ogre situation going on with this guy. Okay, so we've got some of these broken. I'm gonna clear all this stuff out before I break any of it off. I just wanna get these oh, things all taken care of. Get all 12 blue connectors done. And one more. We'll get, uh... We'll get this one. Matter of fact, I'll just get both of them on this one. Boom. And this one, too. Good. And th and these ones. Just for good measure, I'm going to get these ones. Because I think this whole thing will just come down in one once I do that. Okay. Good. Now, bonk it. Jesus Christ. Okay, I bonked it. There are different types of connectors. Each one uses a specific tool. Yellow connectors can be broken with your saw. Copy that. <laughs> All right. I got some yellow connectors right here. Go ahead and carve those off to get it cleared out. Yep. Go ahead and cut this all down. Boom. I'm gonna pick up some of this crap in the way. Pick all this stuff up. Throw it all inside the truck. <laughs> Simple as that. Blow it up a little bit more, and... <laughs> Cut up all this crap, get it all picked up. All right, connectors are done. Break off more. Last type of connectors are the red connectors, which can be broken with the torch. Okay, I haven't seen any of those yet. So I'm not sure exactly what that looks like so far. Oh, there's one behind this wall and this wall. I have to carve. I have to cut these ones out still. Okay, let's do that quick because uh, we need to do that to finish the tutorial. Chat. No. Nah, yeah. No. 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 I don't need a. I don't need like goggles to protect my eyes. Yeah. I just squint. It's fine. My eyes are covered in a thick layer of dirt and muck, uh, which actually protects me. Oh! From uh, from the the bright lights of all this, so don't worry. This is all totally under control. My eyes are perfectly fine. 
Jesus. Jesus, chill. I feel like any second now I'm gonna have this whole thing collapse on me and I'm gonna die. You know what I mean? Anyone else feel like that? Like at any moment this whole thing could collapse and fucking kill me? Uh oh. Dude, it's always scary when I realize my mouse isn't locked to the game, but like didn't hide at, like, di but like, I didn't notice right away because I was literally about to click left mouse button on my other PC and hit stop streaming. I was inches from the button. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, like my mouse won't lock and then it'll drift over there, but it won't hide the game, which is usually what happens. It hides the game so I know like, oh, my mouse is gone. When it doesn't do that, instead I can almost click end stream. <laughs> <laughs> By accident. Looking good. We're gonna get one more of those red connectors turned off, and then we're oh, good to move on. I'm gonna contact OSHA Tomato. This is super unsafe. I don't think we're in a place where OSHA has any like say. You're gonna tell on me. You're gonna tell on me. I don't think you're gonna want to have what happens after that happen. A a after that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm saying you'd be in grave danger. Reaches over to the machine dial. Turns it up to maximum power. Tonight you're going to be visited by 30 AI ghosts. We gotta throw a hundred more kilograms of stuff into the truck. Get this shit all ripped down. Damn, making good, uh, making good progress though here. Holy heck. How much weight do I have in this thing right now? Whoa! <laughs> Boom. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, how the fuck is this even connected still? Are you kidding me? Let's tear this shit down. Oh, I already got that part. I just have to break this. What? What the fuck? Huh? What? I refuse to accept that I even need to break these. This doesn't make any sense. What's this connected to? The beam? Whatever, this is gonna fall off in a second. Holy shit! All right. Well, that takes care of that, I do reckon. Mm-hmm. And we'll just... Whoa! All right, that truck is full and done, and we're gonna go use the computer now, I guess, for something. There's something I need to go over there for. We're gonna... Oh, jeez, my guy's fucking fast, though. Holy shit. I live like this. Uh, junker lifestyle. Okay. Uh, so I have a claim contract in my computer. My friend, I see you, I see you got your first, let's call it, a uh, ship. I can see it from here. You may have got something I like. Bring me those items and I'll give you a little welcome gift. A hundred kilograms of low alloy steel until give me ten dollars. Damn, what the heck, bro? Are you kidding me? $10, a crisp $10 bill. Gonna be eating, gonna be eating food tonight. Holy heck. Gonna be eating real food and not junker slime. Mmm. What else do I do now? Drive to the sorting place and sort metal. Okay. Do I actually drive in this game? Okay. Let's get some tunes going. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, let's roll.
Yeah, this is the sorting place, all right. Here we go. Let's sort. What is this? Combo zero. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, 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 what? Okay, it's like a mini game. No, 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 no. Got it. Okay, I think I actually love this. Easy. Solved it. Now we go sell the sorted metal at the shop. The fact that the music just stops is so, like, unsettling. In the store, you can sell pieces that you've already sorted from the ship. This will enable you to purchase larger ships or upgrades for your tools. Copy that. Mere store mein aapka swagat hai. Exactly. And thirty-six dollars. Sell it. Thanks. Open the wiki with L. Okay, got it. Boom. Congratulations, you own Scrapyard. It was that easy. Okay. Guys, we own Scrapyard. Wow. Let's take a look around. I see a plus next to my like abilities. Wait, what the fuck is this? This wasn't in my tutorial. Explosives will allow you to get into enclosed spaces on the ship and destroy a single wall or a floor. Explosives are able to destroy electrified walls and floors as well. It's a bomb, dude. I don't know about that. What else do I have? Rope. What? Okay, we can grappling hook up things. Yeah, pick up that trash and get it the fuck out of here. Okay, I guess I can't just do that. And then I have... Okay, uh, this all makes sense. Uh, so what can I buy from you, good sir? I can only sell. Guess there's another guy for, like, tools. Oh, this guy over here. Hey. Blueprints. Hey. Okay. okay, so we can boost the uh, boost up. It only costs like uh, four dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost my hammer damage by a little bit. Uh, another next one's gonna cost twenty dollars. We're gonna do that again. Uh, I don't think I care about the rope stuff. Um, I need more capacity for carrying. I think that's good. Get a couple levels of that. And the saw and torch are fine. I think for now. Mainly, I just want more carrying capacity. Okay. I am not, uh, dude, that last boat was free. I don't think the next one's gonna cost me more than $35. I don't think it's gonna cost me more than 35. But uh, let's get to it. Time is money now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. I guess I should have known that I would wanna save up for the Aramano Adriani. Uh, $2,000 for that, huh? Uh, well, you know what I can't afford is uh, the Green Rex. A legend says that it belonged to a crazy scientist who was experimenting with lizards. People say that he raised tiny dinosaurs, but that's all that's left on... Th that's all that is left on his ship. Tiny dinosaurs? Uh, and this guy wants a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit and some cloth. Uh, and he'll pay me $16 for that. Another dude wants iron, oil, uh, wall tools, and a metal locker. Another guy wants high alloy steel, kerosene, bridge modular, gas tank, and dart target. Hey you, mortal, I'm Zardis. I'm planning to become a mortal, but I need to build an underground shelter so the government won't know my location. Provide me these, and maybe you'll get a piece of my knowledge. Okay. I paid $20. Wait, I have to scrap the old one. Uh, Alright, we're, uh, I mean, I could take more out of it, technically. It's got some more equipment to sell. Potential resources values $90. Dump it. Dump it. Get a new one. Well, chat, let's take a look at the new wreck. The green wrecks. Jeez, that thing's kind of big, actually. Let's pull the truck up. Time to get to work. Listen to my jams.
Hold up. What the? Something's wrong. There's something wrong with this place, Chad. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. Okay, well, uh, here we are. Pull the car up and let's get ourselves clean in this place. First things first, I think we're gonna pick up all the crap off the ground. Get all this stuff. Hello, crane and walkie-talkie. Some items are too heavy to remove from the ship by yourself. Use a crane and take the items straight to the sorting yard. To do this, use a walkie-talkie on the item you want to get rid of. Items sorted using a crane will give you a large amount of resources. Copy that. Uh, I'm going to guess that right there is crane-able. I'll have to cut these lines, though, and get the ceiling off to do it. Wow, nice door. No! Oh! That shit. There's just someone's office. Give me this. Give me all of this. Everything in here is going. <laughs> it's all going straight to the trash. I'm sorry, is that a bomb? What am I hearing? What the fuck? <laughs> um. Yo, uh, did we ever check if there was like a bomb or anything on this? What the fuck is that sound? It's on the second floor. Alright, <gasps> grappling hook! I can hear it. Use explosive to destroy. Where is it? Oh, is it that? What the fuck do I do about this? <laughs> Be aware that certain ship components remain energized at all times. It's crucial to deactivate the power before accessing a room or dismantling a section of the ship. Got power, trace the cables to the control station, and switch off the appropriate circuit. Thanks for letting me know now. You asshole. There's the circuit. Fuck off. It's like hidden in this fucking thing. Dude, I'm blacking out. Oh wait, the sun's just said it. I'm better now. Oh, this is a crane moment right here. I'm gonna have to crane this. Crane cannot reach the load. Uh, hey crane? I don't fucking believe you when you say that. Whatever, we just have to clear more stuff. It's fine. Look, we're in early cleanup phase still. There's more work to oh, more work to do. <laughs> love that I can just do that. Uh, love that they don't make me do that much work to clean this place up. I really do. Give me this, give me that. Give me this. These oil barrels are all mine. Break this shit open, grab it. Too heavy, don't care, throw that fucking... Okay, uh, we now know that happens. Good to know. Collision matters. Jesus, place is a goddamn mess. Grills, tables. Pick it all up and let's just get a fucking move on. If only cleaning my room was that easy. Dude, it actually kind of could be. Uh, f for you, if you like tried. If you like fucking tried for a second instead of just giving up. I mean, it doesn't matter if I fuck up these throws because, like, ultimately, at the end of the day, everything's piled into these boxes and I can just grab them again later. So, hop, hop, got it. Right. Nice. Do we start from the top down or the. Wait, what if I just knock everything down? Like, from the base? Wouldn't that make things easier for me? Hmm. Maybe I just make things a lot easier for me by ripping it all down. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I just rip it all down, tear it all up, once and for all. Wait, I don't own any bombs. How the hell am I supposed to? Ah, eh, whatever. I guess I'm. Um, I'm gonna start at the. I'm, I I got some stuff. I'm gonna rip up. Let's get started. First of all, I'd like to deal with the electrical situation over here. Ooh. Get this ripped up. Sure hope I don't die. Jesus. Nice. Just get these power lines out of here and then we'll be cooking. Very good. This truck only has so much space. Eventually I'll have to like bring it over to the thing. So right now I'm just trying to grab all the loose stuff. Any loose items. In. 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 And are we almost full? Oh nice, no it stacks more times. Okay, cool. Bro, the thing is chat, this is my kind of fucking game is the problem with it. Okay, I don't know, I, I get hypnotized by these kinds of fucking games. Like they just grab me in a way that, ooh. First aid, we needed that for that guy in a washing machine and a sink. I love tasks. And I'm gonna carve this off of this quick. Just to see if like it does give me the option to crane it as well. Cause then I can at least know that like these things need to be ripped off. And that means the ceiling, the roof here needs to be taken down first. Okay, but when does it become a horror? When does it become a horror game? Uh, let me check. Uh, the machine is at 90% charge. So it's gonna get scary soon enough. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's, that's Crane. So yeah, this whole top floor needs to be taken down. Now what I'm wondering is, can I just kinda, you know, Rip the whole thing down from the from the edges. Maybe. Maybe. Let's start with seeing how hard it is to get the box out, though. The box upstairs. Jesus, so much, like, loose stuff. Remember, I paid $30 for this, so if I get $30 out just from all these boxes, dude, I will be fucking really impressed. <laughs> Not much more stuff to oh, break now. Almost done here. Some toxic waste. Good God. So many things. Well, we got to start somewhere, so better get started soon. Just want to get those toxic barrels I saw over yonder. Jesus, there's still more stuff. <laughs> I forgot I have that rope, too, to, like, repel up to things. I'm just gonna huck this box down there. <laughs> Grab it again in a minute. Oh, another thing to fucking, uh, crane out. This fucking place is packed! Jesus. I'm, I don't know why I didn't play more Hard Space Shipbreaker, either. Like, I was, like, looking at streaming this, and I was like, you know what? That game's also really fun. I don't know why I didn't play more of it. And you know why I think what I think it was? Uh, the, like, no gravity, like, rotation shit, uh, fucking kind of made me, like, nauseous. And this game, like, doesn't have that, so it doesn't make me nauseous. I think I, like, just didn't want to play more of it because I couldn't, like, do all the rotating and stuff. I kind of needed something a little bit more grounded. Note to self, uh, buy higher quality gloves. That scared me, I don't know how that happened. Does that mean this thing's almost full? It might literally be full. According to this, I still need to get more, uh, I'm missing a dart target from somewhere and like some metal lockers. 
still that or these contracts don't always give you uh like they don't always like contain everything that's gonna be in the ship which might be a thing oh there's the last cloth i need hmm yeah we're missing some like dartboard is this gonna fit or am i full we are running out of space. There's no way this thing takes much more. But to get these stairs out of it. No, I don't know. I don't want to get the stairs out yet. Okay, I think we're gonna do a run and sort everything that's on the uh like on the truck right now, since it's all like the loose parts. I think that's worth doing. Since I think how the fuck did that happen? Probably because I was running. Gimme, give gimme! Give give me that. Is this full? How do I know when this truck is full? It feels like it should be. Alright. Well, let's get to the top. I'm gonna try to crane out that giant box I saw. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I should keep my eyes peeled for- Can I get this door out of here? No. Oh. Oh, there's the last lockers. Where's that fucking... Oh, there's more. There's still more. So many things. So much cash on the fucking table. How could anyone not want to be a junker? Being a junk man, now that's just a goddamn dream. All right, because I'll tell you what, I've never been happier than I am right now being a ship junker. Where is that dartboard? Cause you can't, like, I'm running out of places for it to realistically be where someone could play darts. I guess I'll find it eventually. Anonymous gifted thanks for gifting a hundred subscriptions to the channel. My God. Holy heck. Thank you so much. I didn't want that box, and I'm gonna forget about it in time. Thank you for the fucking gifted subs that it's super kind. Super kind. Real kind of you. Damn. I'm gonna guess that this uh, truck can't hold more than 800 kilograms. <laughs> or it can, and it's just now full, but still taking stuff. Well, I'm gonna move on. Then. I want to get that box taken out first. So, uh, I guess I'm going to try to tear down all these walls here. All these connections got to go. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. I need to buy explosives, I think, to get this door out of the way. I can still break the connections. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Other side. If I cut everything around the door out, the door should fall off. Like, that's how doors work. If the door don't got no door frame, the door fall off. Uh, so I'm gonna guess this will be fine. Simple as that. I fucking knew it. This ain't hard. Now I can just cut the fucking connectors off. Jesus. There he is. That's what we're looking for right there. Now that there's a good old solid connector. We just gotta cut that real quick and we're done. Mm hmm. Bada bing. One part done. Love that the truck can still hold more. Really cool. It's just, I'm just like trying to figure out like, I'm wondering how much is gonna have to break before this thing is clear. I'm guessing this has to go. Considering it was just glowing red. This whole corner's gotta go. <laughs> Does the truck have a max? I assumed it did, but it seems like no. Uh, 
got it's got a this thing's got another connector on the other side. There it is. We're gonna try to clear this all out so I can get all those supply boxes out of here. Oh they carve this carve this part out too. There it is. Mm -hmm. Grab all that. Huck all that on over. And how much more do we still need here? Okay, it says this is also blocking it. That's good. Okay, so I can check what's blocking it. So it looks like all these bordering walls need to go and possibly the ceiling. Copy that. I need a better sledgehammer still. It's driving me fucking cuckoo crazy. That truck suspension is fucked. It's not fucked, it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the truck. Don't need to go that far anyways. It's totally fine, everything's fine. You're acting all silly. It's not even a ton of weight on that truck. Literally, it's not even a ton. You got time to worry about that? You got time to help me worry about where the dart target is? Okay, because that's really pissing me off. Where the hell is that thing? I need that. Damn, dude. Chad, if I ever, if I ever was suddenly totally exiled from Twitch as a result of either retirement or some kind of entire platform shut down, I'll tell you what, I'd probably become a junker. Uh, I think I'd, I think I've locked in my career choice. I think I'd become a junker. Insane choice. What's so insane about wanting to become a, a strong Man who just cuts shit up and throws it. That sounds fun. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to, wanting to build up bulk and throw things around. Do you have your tetanus shots? No, well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm updated. For whatever shots I'm supposed to have. But if I need another, that wouldn't be a very hard thing to have done. But also, diseases are scared of me! One time I came face to face with a disease. A big old amoeba looking thing right on the sidewalk the size of a dog. And I'll tell you what, it looked at me and then it went, yeah! And fucking scampered into the nearest sewer grate. You understand? My body is a temple. There is there is no way a disease could find its way in. I'm way too powerful. It's time. Crane moment, crane moment, crane moment. Here it comes. Oh. Yo! Dude, what the heck? Damn. Cool. The uh, other thing I'd need to detach and uh, get out of this place, there's a couple more. Some of them are a lot more complicated uh, overall. Huh? Including this thing, which is just fucking insane. Holy heck. That's a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> okay. So, um, I need this out. I want all the big stuff pulled out. 
which means this is next, which means I have to pull out everything above it. And possibly also bordering it. But I guess we'll start with what's above it. You're not sure about site safety here? Uh, uh what may- Chat! Listen! Yeah, the only site safety we need is the amount of calluses I have on my skin that protect me from blunt force and cut trauma. You understand? We don't need no safety rules. My skin is- I got calluses and freaking leathery skin thick enough to protect me from bullets. <laughs> you understand? I look more like a D&D turtle at this point than I do a human. You just wouldn't get it. Can't fucking see anything. I've got a fucking CSIJ Biosuit 5. Do you understand? And it's not something I purchased, it's something I slowly built around myself to protect myself from the fucking struggles of this world and job. People who get it, get it. And people who don't, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Junker don't need no goddamn OSHA, no safety regulations. Sometimes when I don't feel like driving myself back to my house, I'll just ask the crane to pick me up. And I'll just freaking bite it with my teeth, the hook, and like a fish, it'll just hook me back over to my house and I'll jump off like 40 feet in the air and stick the landing. <laughs> if you're hawing, you'll never be a true junker. And it's so fucking pathetic. Good, we wouldn't want you to be a junker anyways, you couldn't handle it. <laughs> you get someone killed! Not everyone can take it. He's obsessed with Junker romantization. Chat, no, this is a lovely, wonderful job that I love so much. I'm not obsessed with anything. I love my job. I've already got a finished contract there. I gotta get some more metal, some oil and iron in. Everything's going well. I mean, I got a lot of fucking work still to get this out. This is gonna be a fucking situation still. Uh, Cause I think I gotta get this part gone. Top part here is gonna have to go. Yeah, this part here has to go. I can't reach. I can't reach it. Yeah, the scrap's gonna have to go. It's all fun and games until you rip out your rotator cuffs. Chat, when my character gets a real injury, I will simply deposit myself into the recycler like the rest of the junk because at that point then I will be broken junk. But that's not happening, so it's fine. Listen, all right, I've adopted, since playing this game, I've adopted a new outlook on life, and it is when I decide I am truly junk, I will throw myself into the nearest recycling plant and be done with it. Let them figure it out for me. I'm not going to the doctor. <laughs> let them, fi let it sort me out. Let it tell me where I'm supposed to go. If it's the incinerator, fine. If it's the goddamn, like, recycling plant, fine. <laughs> Oh, 
Sort me. <laughs> Fine. Sort me. That truck has a lot of space. Yeah, goddamn right. It's a Ford pickup. Of course it's got a lot of space. Why wouldn't it? American made. It's a job done every time. Tomato goes in the compost bin. Dude, if someone wants, listen, all right? I've made it very clear what my desires were in the past about when I go fucking cremate me and flush me down the Taco Bell toilet or some shit. I, I, I really don't care. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm also fine with being Soylent Greened. I don't care. Like, I don't, dude, once I'm dead, I, I don't care, man. All right? Junker lifestyle now. Just huck me in the fucking recycling. Like, put my body in the recycling bin. Let the goddamn, like, let the freaking disposal company figure out what the hell that means and sort it. Okay? I don't know what else to say. Jeez. Toxic waste. Look, if and if it so turns out that like the um recycling plant deems me to be deeply toxic waste that has to be buried in some kind of concrete sarcophagus in order to protect it, like protect the world from the rate, like the lingering radiation around my disgusting, nasty body, then that's all so fine. That's also totally fine. <laughs> like, I don't care. Okay? I don't care. Tomato Reactor number four gaming. Dude, I mean, here's the thing. It's memorable. Bury me in a six foot thick steel and lead and concrete sarcophagus. <laughs> it's the only way to keep the world safe. And then never explain why that needs to be the case. Doing good, looking good. Looking good, this wall's almost all taken care of and then this machine will be free, I can only assume. Or, or hope, I suppose. Though I do think it's about time I go to the sorting thing and sell some of my trash. I did get a, I can also claim some stuff. Your will just reads, contain me. Seal the darkness away. Where the light will never shine upon it. For the sake of us all. Dude, I'm gonna do that. Cause then it's like a fun little mystery for the people I leave behind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like a, kind of like a, like a one piece situation. Except instead of a one piece, it's why does he have so many steps to dis, like to dispose and contain his body? You know. <laughs> I've been microdosing on radioactive waste for the last eighty years. I am a biohazard, my grandchildren. You must dispose of me. You must! If you're reading this, if you're reading this, you've already received 30,000 microsieverts of radiation. <laughs> the moment I died, the time, the time bomb began. It's countdowns. <laughs> 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 
Oh boy, this one. I don't know about this one, chat. This one's gonna be a fucking mess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one out. Like, this one's actually a ton of work. Is this thing... I wanna know what I get out of that. Not much, actually. Makes me wonder if this is even worth it. This part. Considering how much I have to do for this. What am I still missing for Zardis? High alloy steel. This has to be high alloy. Right? I'm gonna start at the top. This has gotta be high alloy. I'm still, like, also missing that, um... <laughs> that dartboard I need. So I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm not sure where that is. Hmm. Oh, found it. <laughs> and we got it. <laughs> and the dartboard is fucking ruined. Cool, cool. Now we just need high alloy steel. I don't know what really gives high alloy. Have I been getting it from these crane things? Is that what's been giving me the high alloy? And I've been I've been out here working on this job for the last two days straight without sleeping. Huh. Maybe the railings too. I should test it. Let's see if the railings do anything. If I cut all the railings. Does that truck have infinite storage? Believe it or not, that's the thing with most cars. It's just uh, when you start thinking about it, that's when the car gets like, it starts realizing as well that it can't carry anymore. Let's see if that does it. No. Okay. Uh, what is this? What do I do about this here? This is something. Now this right here is something. This looks like high alloy. Some kind of freaking like satellite thing. Now that's high alloy. Let's get this separated. Oh, yes. You're going in the fucking <laughs> truck. That wasn't any high alloy at all. Absolutely fucking baffling. What the? Hi, God. I don't need to break this or this. Because that was the only thing connected... Video game moment. Gamer moment! <laughs> Fucking hell, get the fuck out of here. Alright. I'm gonna try to get that thing in the middle, even if it takes a little bit, because it'll get me a million dollars. Though I may run over to claim half of these contracts now so I can get some upgrades before I do it. Yep. Oh. Yep. Keep on chipping away now. Google s search says it's steel with a larger amount of chromium in it, so look for something shiny, maybe. All right, that was a big load of nothing you just said to me. <laughs> but I appreciate it nonetheless. I didn't need to cut any of that, at least. <laughs> so I believe right now I'm standing over the thing I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna start ripping all this stuff out, dude. This whole wall's gotta go. Everything from above this thing has to go. It's all gotta go. 
Gotta cut the whole fucking thing out. The things people throw away. Whole ships. You could build it. Dude, the amount of things you could use, you could have used this place for still. It's still livable. This place is still great and we c and it could have been used for so much more. Such a shame. You can make a ship out of this. You could make a whole boat out of this. Don't you see? Don't you understand? Could have made a whole ship. could rent for 4k a month at NYC. True, dude. When you're right, you're fucking right. True. Fucking true. Oh, yes. Looking good. We're gonna have such a fucking huge minigame sorting thing we have to do for all this, though. Holy crap. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go claim all my stuff and upgrade the saws and hammers now. So this is getting me some of the process uh, towards my high... Uh, that Yeah, that, I think this gave me... I think this middle part, or the door frame... Okay, I think the door frame was high alloy. So I might need to get more of these door frames. I think the door was it. Which means this window might also be it. Okay. Not hard to do. What the? The dangers of this job are immense, and we only just now got to see how much danger we're really in. Junker moment. If I didn't have foot-thick calluses all over my entire body, like a literal, like, like, just fucking entire, like, covering of skin armor, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. That'd be it. Good news is, I did have skin armor. <laughs> How am I gonna get back up there? Oh yeah, grappling hook. But that's a bomb. Gra grappling hook. I said grappling. I said... Alright, I'll just climb up from here. Grappling. Grapple it. Got it. Gotta be more careful going forward. Never know when I might fall to my death. Give me that. So is this high alloy? <laughs> no. So it's just the doors. Copy that. It's just the doors. I mean, I need to break that anyway, so it's fine. But it's just the doors. That or it's those, I mean, maybe the walls? I don't know, I wasn't checking before. But I know at some point while doing this, uh, the doors gave it to me some point, so. Like, something from the door part gave it to me. So, surely this'll cut it. Let's get this done. Mm-hmm. You know you can look at the wiki for this game. Uh, did you know that I also, uh, can just choose not to and learn the game as I go and have fun discovering things? I'm glad we got there. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Alright. Yeah, doors definitely work for it. 
It's a lot of doors though to rip up. I keep on focusing on getting this thing out since uh, I get this weird feeling that I can kind of do a silly little make the whole place collapse around me moment in a little bit if I play my cards right. I start severing this part here early. Oh yes. Start breaking all this part now. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna freaking collapse this whole place down around me. Mm-hmm. Madman moment? There's nothing mad about trying to do things efficiently. Ain't nothing mad about wanting you to do things a little quick. Cut out some of the bullshit. Not mad about that at all, actually. These walls still gotta go. All right. <laughs> Huge. Let's get cutting. Hmm, might just be worth going back to the upgrade thing to upgrade some shit quick, actually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's bring this over. I'm gonna recycle what I have so it's not an infinitely long fucking minigame in a little bit. And I'm gonna sell a bunch of shit and I'm gonna upgrade my crap. Uh, do you want to only sort excess? Yeah, sort the excess. Please. Glad that's a thing. That's cool. All right, red. Red. Blue. Blue. Red. Yellow! I got it! Red, 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 red. Blue. 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 It's so easy. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, that was a green. It doesn't matter. I basically did everything perfectly. You will- If you leave without sorting missed items, you will lose 50% of missed items. What? Sort it all again. <laughs> oh, there we go. I thought I was gonna have to- it said sort again is in all of it again. It just meant the one. We did it. Absolutely gigantic. Easy. Easy. Alright, I'm gonna go... to my contract thing and hand in all those contracts really quick. Okay. Claim $16. Thank you. Claim $20. Thank you. Uh, Zardis is gonna pay me forty dollars, but I still have to finish some more of that. But now I've got more money. I'm gonna sell the rest of the crap I have in here that's left over now. Hello, aapko kya chahiye? Max, 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 and Max. A million billion dollars in my bank account. I'm gonna immediately invest this into saws and sledgehammers. Hello, kya aap tools khareedna chahte hain? Bye, 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 bye. The torch never comes up. Uh, we're gonna boost some of my gloves now just so I can carry a little bit more and good to go. Let's roll. I mean, I don't have gloves unless you call my fucking calloused skin gloves. Stop? I mean, I don't know what else to call it. I really don't know what else to call it, if not that. You know? Why am I even breaking this stuff down here? I need to be up here. 
Good God, there's just so much to break for this. Mother of God, it's never gonna end. Imagine how crunchy his hands are. Dude, the amount of calluses my guy has, I wonder if he, like, struggles to close his hands into fists. So, just to be sure, um, I think I need, like, parts to actually upgrade. Okay, so yeah, I still have to upgrade my stuff, but I'm pretty sure I have to, like, have, like, parts. Yeah. So now, next, I want to pull all this stuff out and then, like, actually upgrade these tools. Because right now, my hands, I need special, I need, like, I need to apply metal and, like, shit to my hands to make the calluses grow. Also, I'm begging all of you to stop adding me with stuff about this game because I need to stress again. Uh, one, you'll get banned by the mods. And two, I didn't ask. Thanks. 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 I'm glad we understand now. To backseat someone in a game about casually and re like relaxed fucking like sledgehammer swinging in a game with no pressure or any expectations is some of the most just, well, cringe shit I ever done saw. Oh. It's not optimized, dude. That's the fucking problem with this streamer. All right, all right. This one's still attached here. Oh, one day you guys will have big old calluses on your brain like me and you won't worry about these things anymore. <laughs> one day you guys will be like me and have callous brain. And then you won't have to worry about all these thoughts that keep on weighing you down day in and day out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. God, my guy really fucked that up. There we go. What a fucking mess this all is. Sometimes stuff just breaks without you really having to do much more setup, and I love it when that happens. <laughs> Speed things up quite a bit. God, there's still so much more we have to cut, though, for this shit to fucking actually sever. I'm gonna try to cut out the floor here and see what that gets us. I like, get all this part out. Yeah, if I just peel all this part out, I'm gonna see what that does for me. What's his build, chat? He's using the current competitive junkyard sim meta, right? Dude, he better be going callous, man, dude. I swear to God, I can't watch another streamer not go callous, man. Oh! It's fine. Everything's fine. Look at all the weight on that thing already. <laughs> this is gonna collapse on me and fucking kill me. Like, this is it. Here it comes, chat. It's gonna be happening in a minute. Like, get ready. Get ready. Pray to whatever god you have, because in a second we're gonna be seeing nothing but the fucking black void. Oh. 
I, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Not bad. Actually, <laughs> not bad at all. Okay. Uh, next up is, uh, Jesus Christ, this place is starting to look a little silly. All these windows are next. I think these might be load-bearing windows. Little worried about that, but I'm not gonna worry about it. These may be load-bearing. What do torch do? It's used to like sever some really high power, like high durability connections between the walls, but we haven't actually bumped into any. I think it's like mostly like the super load-bearing stuff. Hucket. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Get that in there. Get this in there. <laughs> All right. Still got to deal with this part. The whole middle here needs to be picked up for this crane to even get at this fucking bo like this giant block down here, so... It's gotta break everything, really. All of it's gotta go. There we go. That's part of it. Cut these. Guys, I'm not in any danger, don't worry. This is all totally code. All part of the Junker code. Specifically. It's all part of the code. Hold. Oh. Still gotta get that fucking part. That part's pissing me off, actually. Uh, might, like, climb up and get that before I even pick anything else up, because that part's really pissing me off. This grappling hook is terrible. I hate it. It's awful. It fills me with like actual rage, I think. Skill issue? Wrong. Uh, grappling hook issue. There's something wrong with it. Move. We're gonna be craning this thing out of here soon. And I'll grab myself some real upgrades. Okay. We got this wall still has to go for sure. Oh, what a mess this part is. This part's gonna be annoying. Okay, let's get- I'm just gonna knock everything down, then I can worry about picking it all up. It'll be easier that way. Let's work. Very good. Next is this floor. Clear this crap out. Good. Okay. Ow! Are you good? We're good! Let's get it lifted out of here! Jeez, we can technically pull the entire thing out, huh? I mean, that's a gamer move. Alright, well, while that's happening, I'm gonna go swing on over to the warehouse with everything in the truck. Get this all loaded up as much as I can with whatever's on the ground. Real quick. Jeez, that thing's fast. <laughs> Holy crap. Load this all up. Sort it. Send it to the warehouse. I'm gonna <laughs> see if I can uh, get myself some upgrades. <laughs> gonna be worth it, I reckon. Gonna be real worth it, I reckon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, huge. Good, good. <laughs> All right, let's roll. <laughs> Strive. Uh, hello? Um, hello? Hello, would you like to get in there? <laughs> Thank you. God damn. Love this song. Absolutely love this goddamn song. Sort the excess. Yellow, red. Yellow, red, red, red. Fuck! Damn it! My combo! Alright, we got it done. Now, where the hell's the warehouse? What is this? Workshop. Okay, this is the workshop. Uh, good sir, I'd like to level up my hammer to level two. Thank you. Order. I'm missing non metals. Hi. That is vague. What do you mean, non-metals? Do you mean, like, can I bring you, like, a sandwich? I see I've been owned hard. Everything requires non-metals, which is, like, the trash on the ground. God damn it, this piece of shit. I mean, I think I'm like at the point where I'm ready to... I want to get the high alloy steel job done though. Fuck. I think I need to get the high alloy steel part done. Just aim at all the doors, get that part ripped up. Then, uh, then get rid of this thing. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole like shell. Considering I'm not, I don't like have full upgrades. That would just take me a million years. How long without sleep? I haven't slept in the last eight years since I became a junker. I just don't have to sleep anymore. Sleep is a construct created by society to keep you from hustling harder. I'm on that hustle and grind set every day. Do you understand? My eyelids... <laughs> my eyelids have a... They're too calloused to close anymore. Don't you understand? I can't close them. My eyes have a layer of grease and muck that keeps them moisturized and ready for anything. <laughs> Why didn't that move my high alloy steel up? Why, why, why? It's getting dark in here. Scan a tor to Oh. Okay. We got there. It's in the walls. That right there is high alloy steel in my goddamn hands. <laughs> this is also high alloy. Grab a couple of these walls and we're good. Cooking with gas now.
Tomato always comes up with original jokes. Uh, remember, if you type something into my chat, it's legally my fucking property. Check the TOS. Idiot. 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 Read your fu read the actual agreements before you fucking type anything. Like, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Legally owns our jokes. Real jokes on him. Damn. Damn. Looks like we're almost done with the job now. <laughs> Shouldn't be much longer. A little more high alloy and we're clear. Get ourselves some nice new stuff, move on. Move on to a larger creature, a new ship. Something a little bit tougher, a little bit more worth my time. Okay, two more. So that's one more, and that'll be the last one. Get this broken off and we're clear. Is there even anything connected? It's this one. That's it. Boom. Bada bing, we're done here. <laughs> Unless I really do want to try to rip this whole thing down. I mean, the thing is, if I just fall at the base and edge of this whole thing, I feel like I could collapse everything else. <laughs> Kinda wanna. <laughs> if I just follow the edge, and cut like just the corners and floor out. It should just fall from everything else I've seen in this game so far. There's nothing else I, I'm worried about it breaking for. I just want the main shell. So I can get upgrades. Yeah, let's see. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get rid of all this and we can finally see if we can, like, how much the actual shell of the ship is worth. I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. Holy crap, you guys are fucking killing it every day. That's why I steal your jokes. Yeah, I'll be taking that one. Yoink. That one's going in the joke collection. Mine joke collection. Thanks. In exactly two months, I'll use that joke and say I did it. And when that, when the person who said that joke tries to say they said it, they'll find out they got banned. Quietly, in the background. Discreetly executed. That's just how the cookie crumbles around these parts. I'm sorry. Is what I would say if I was sorry about it. He doesn't even remember what his name, what their name was. How can he ban them? It's called the scroll wheel. It's called the scroll wheel and a lot of spite. A lot of just petty spite. Yeah, once I get this second layer done, get real worried this thing's gonna collapse on me at some point. Get these walls down. His calloused finger can scroll forever. I wish I still had my mouse that like had that button. You know, some mouses have that thing where they have that scroll wheel that you can like literally just have it scroll forever. It just doesn't like have any friction against it unless you like click something. I don't have one of those anymore and I fucking wish I did because I loved it. I didn't realize how much I loved it until it was gone. And then I cried, I sobbed, I seethed. I've never recovered actually. 
Sometimes I try to use my mouse and scroll the wheel and I go like and like it just scrolls normally and like I want to see it like spin, you know? All right, we're making good time. It's going well. We will sever this ship from a shell. Even if it takes, I don't know, another couple minutes is really all I'm willing to give it before I'm gonna get a new ship. Get these stairs off. We ain't gonna need these things. Good God, the stairs are a lot of work. I didn't real. I don't know why the stairs are so much work in this fucking game, compared to like everything else. These things are like 15 steps. Jesus. Why? This this is actually more work than the entire ship. Can I get to that. Blame OSHA. I just, I just hate them. There, stairs are gone. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking stairs. Everyone's just in the chat bragging about their freaking mouse wheel that spins. It's making me mad, dude. Like, I don't know why you think that's cool. Like, cause I don't want to be mean, but I'm going to be mean because you're making me mad. And it's the only way I know how to unpack these emotions I have is by toxically throwing them on other people. So here it comes. I'm going to say something you're going to hate. No one asked. Who asked? I'm sorry. I had to get it out. It's not about, I'm not actually mad at you. I just need to, I just needed to like get that out there. Because otherwise it was going to fucking kill me. You did. I asked. Chat. I've got. I've got streamer dementia. <laughs> you guys can't. Uh, you guys can't expect me to remember things after about thirty seconds. So fucked that you even would. Like, what the fuck? Really? You guys expect me to remember things? That's messed up. You guys are toxic. I thought everyone was- I thought everyone understood how- how bad my streamer dementia was. <laughs> Chat's being mean to Grandpa again. What's new? You know, what's new? What's new? No one's surprised by that. Not one person. Why is he okay with being called Grandpa? Because I've got streamer dementia so bad that sometimes I forget how old I am. Chat, every day I wake up happy that I'm alive because I thought maybe that night would be the night I died of a heart attack at 95. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand how far I've been pushed? Do you, uh, you guys ever wonder what really makes me go... All of this here, all of this. Sylvester, is that you? I really thought this thing was about to collapse on me. That was scary. Back to it. Did 
Damn, we're gonna be- we have a lot of fucking- We're- we're pulling out a lot of resources out of this though at the end of the day. Sylvester is a self-insert. I'll tell you what, Sylvester is my favorite character I've played in the, uh... In the hardcore thing so far. <laughs> I'll tell you what, big fan of playing Sylvester. Because I don't have to do anything. I can just kick back. No one expects anything of Sylvester. I barely have to play. I'm just RPing myself. Uh, what? I don't know. Oh, yeah. This bad boy's about to fall any minute now, chat. Mm hmm. This whole thing's about to collapse on us and kill us. Get ready! Get ready! Here it fucking comes! Soon in this place, the final trial of the junk, the junker, the final trial of the junk man. The it's only a matter of time. This one next. Not much more left. And then it's that side railing. And then this whole thing is severed from the top. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. PC about to go bang? Nah, dude. No, di oh! Oh, that was just the ceiling. We're okay. Junker's fine. Everything's all right. We almost died. We're okay. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Could have frickin' exploded or something. <laughs> yeah, this is a death trap. I cut these. That could be it. For us. So anyways. God knows how this stuff is even holding up anymore. The sounds are getting louder whenever I do it now. Have you noticed that? Like, it's getting louder and scarier. The ship's getting angry now. The ghost of the ship is mad. It's getting furious. The ghosts of the ship's rage. They see, they froth. You understand? Oh. Yeah, this is um definitely getting unsafe now. This is like uh one of the last walls. Sever all this crap and then we're pretty much down to just the edge. This is a load-bearing wall right here. It's fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. 
actually. Yeah, it's still fine. See, it's fine. If it wasn't fine, we'd be dead. And we ain't dead, which means we're fine. Yep. If this wasn't fine, I'd be getting some kind of bad feeling about all of it, but I'm not. Yep, we're fine. See, we're fine. It's everything is fine. <laughs> we followed the code. We're fine. Ooh, something to slice. Just did it in like the clumsiest way possible. But, uh, pretty cool regardless. Not sure what that was even about or what that solved for me, but, um... Well, if we start cutting the top of this now... It's gonna happen. We're gonna split this thing. This is like some of the only stuff still connecting it. Break all this crap, all the blues, and it's pretty much done. Ooh. 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 Into four anti-gravity floors? No. No, I don't think so. I think we cut these last parts and it's gonna fall. I think it's gonna fall real good. I think it's gonna fall real good, Chad. We're gonna have a real big wreck on our hands. If it wasn't junk before, it's gonna look like junk when we're done with it in a second. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Give me that. Good. 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 Yes. One more. And now we sever all the connections. Yes. Very good. The neuro- our neurons are about to activate hard, chat. Well, get ready to watch this shit. This stuff's about to go down. I experienced some neuron activation. We didn't get all of it. But it did- it did chain react quite a bit of it, actually. Um... Which means all of this is being suspended by just, like, this line. There's actually not that much holding this side up either. Huh. I could actually totally get all this off. Not bad. <laughs> My neuron squeaked a bit. Good. Good. I'm glad. See, getting the whole shell of this ship off is kind of something that I'm not really interested in because I'd have to do all of the floors, which is insane. Like, that's a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I'd have to get every single floor detached. But I at least want to see this part, like, fall. Like, the bulk of this thing fall. God, we need bombs. Dude, if I just had bombs, I'd be able to, like, fucking blow up this part, because I don't really care about the attached parts. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm going over to the shop for a second. I have, the, I have like, ten bucks. Can I just buy a bomb? Excuse me, sir. This doesn't say anywhere how much one bomb is.
Owned explosives, zero. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to buy one. The game won't let me buy bombs, Jen. I don't know why. I'm gonna hand in the uh, contract I have quick. Can't afford it, but the but the bomb says it only costs zero dollars. Forty dollars. Broke ass can't afford zero bombs. Mere store mein aapka swagat hai. I'm not broke. I don't even want to sell all this stuff because then I won't have uh, anything to upgrade with. Hello, aap kya chahte hai, my friend? I'm not broke, dude. Namaste. Oh, there we go. Fifteen dollars for one bob. All right, Jet. I bought a bomb. <laughs> Time to see how much this does. I bought one bomb. I'm gonna put it, uh, just because I'm like curious, I'm gonna put it just right here. See how much it does. Jesus. Yeah, that's not that much for $15, like, gone. But it does speed things up, technically. Just one square, huh? Just one little square. <laughs> we'll load up everything on the ground. We're not gonna do the whole floor and get the shell off because it's just gonna take a million years, especially without upgrades. And the only thing keeping me from getting upgrades is I don't have enough equipment uh, that I stashed because I sold it all. And that's like one of the first things you get on a ship. So I'm kind of just going to take everything out that's here for, like, stuff, and then, um, just scrap the rest of it. I reckon. Yo. Ah, uh, yep. God damn it. Yep. Let me up there, please. Yep. Oh my god. Good. <laughs> that wasn't a real floor. That was, uh... That was just some bullshit. Why? Why? None of these are real floors! <laughs> Boom. Yeah, this feels unsafe. This doesn't uh, feel like something I should be doing still. Feels unwise, like I'm putting myself in a lot of danger right now. But where'd all this crap come from? And from when I was, uh... <laughs> repairing the, um... Or ripping up that one, uh, weird... Railing earlier. Must have been from that. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm not gonna decline getting more stuff. Ha! <laughs> Won't be long now till this whole thing's just a big old pile of garbage. Oh shit! Dude. Only that wall holds it all up. Well, technically there's also that part there. Why is this happening to me? Good. We sever all these lines in a circle and we got it. How? 
I don't understand it either, man. But for some reason, this is like the most powerful goddamn, like, ship infrastructure I've ever seen in my life. It just holds anyways. Despite it all. And I'm pretty sure I'm half these walls are wood. Oh shit. Come on, really? That's a load-bearing wood wall? Okay. It's not even a big deal. Fucking load-bearing wood wall. Piece of shit. It's a load-bearing roof, too. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on. This, this boat was up to something. There's something crazy with this thing going on. But I'm not gonna let it ruin my junking experience. Really? Really? Uh-uh, I did not just fall. God damn it. No, let me up! No, 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 let me up now! Okay. Fucking actual load-bearing ceiling moment. Piece of shit. The real load-bearing ceiling. Piece of crip. Piece of crip. Running out of things I can reach. Everyone's been waiting here so patiently for this thing to come down. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm just as shocked as you are how it's still standing after all this time. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I just fell all the way back down. This has to be it. This is the load bearing part. This right here. We cut this, it's over. This is it. This is it. What? Why won't you just die already? Ugh. This can't be happening to me. This can't be happening to me. Dude, it's just a load-bearing metal sheet. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> It's like actually just trash. It's not even like real walls. How? How? God. God. God, please. It must be this. It must be. It is this here. Oh, I get it. It's this one. Is this right here? Load bearing <laughs> sheet metal corner. It's about to fall. Woo! It happened. It finally happened. <laughs> Collect our treasure. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Boom. <laughs> it's gonna take us a million years to pick all this up. Now press E for 20 minutes like you're playing Ark. <laughs> oh, you can't just say that to me. You can't just say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Real and true psychic damage just obtained by me, uh, right there. I don't feel good. <laughs> Fuck. This wouldn't be as bad if I had upgrades. I don't know why they separate the upgrades between, like, resource gathering and, like, purchases. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
At least it's at least it's like not terrible to like have all this stuff in surplus. Like I've got a ton of stuff now. <laughs> Gonna be sitting on oodles of gear. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't think it's worth me doing all the floors, you know what I mean, chat? I think there's a diminishing return now of, like, cutting all these floors out and it being a total waste. But there's not that much left on this side. It might be worth it. Maybe not on that side, because that side still has more to do. But if we get, like, half this boat ripped up, that'd be pretty cool. Like, the one side. This side. Like, skip the other side, call it a day on that one, rip up this side. Like, where's the line here? Right here. Let's see how much it- how long it would take me to, like, cut off some of this. Like, maybe it's not as much as I think it is. Because a lot of this is, like, grids. I can't even see the fucking stuff beneath all the trash. Holy crap. Glad I can still make that throw. There's so much trash! Treasure, you mean. True. True. Absolutely 100% true. I don't know why I said anything otherwise. Let's get to chopping again. I had two tons of crap in that truck right now. Look, maybe it won't be that bad. Let's see once I break some of this. Okay, it breaks with the... Okay, it looks like I just have to break the, the sledgehammer part. And the whole thing comes off. It didn't... It does... I don't have to do any cutting. I was thinking I'd have to do cutting. Because that was going to be the time-consuming part. If it's just this, I'll do this. Dude, I have to literally pick all this crap up to get to the, 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 like, the lines. Oh, there's so much trash! It's like heaven, almost. Holy crap, it's like heaven. Dude, so much stuff. At least I'm never gonna run out of fucking metal. <laughs> Ever. I can't even find the, like, the <laughs> things I need to break to finish collecting all this shit, because it's, like, underneath an infinite pile of garbage. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Here's another. Good. Grab all that. Good. Good. Huck it. Ditch it. Good. There's another. There's another. We got one there. Huck it. Okay. I think this is the last line. Chat, and then I can just scoop all of it up. Well, not the whole thing, but I can scoop up the ship part. Oh no, this one actually has metal to break. Oh, I got it. <laughs> nope, that took care of it. Good God. I'm gonna just be struggling to find like the one last blue thing I need to break to like separate all this and be done with it. Okay, cause there's like a part underneath this. Yup, oh my God. Okay, well this whole line is still needs to be split properly. The rest of it, I can already tell, is good. Clear out these walls. Pick up all these plates here. This one needs to be broken too, I think. There it is. Okay, if I just focus on picking up all the sheets, I can find the stuff that's not split yet. There we go. Good. We got there. We're looking at the final breaks of the entire setup. This one right here. This one here. This one here. 
And this one here should be it. Nope, we got one last break. We good? Somehow this thing still needs to be cut. Even though it's not even connected to anything. Alright, we just follow the line now and make sure it's all split. Looks like this somehow, even though it doesn't... Okay, so it's still technically connected to some things, but I think... Yep, here's one. I think maybe that wall, that edge there also needs to be split. What's still connecting to these? I think it's this. Even though it's not connected to anything, I think I just need to anyways. What is that? Crane cannot reach the load. Oh, you asshole, you piece of shit. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I can't get up. This can't happen to me. Actually have to parkour up to this thing. This piece of shit. I can't believe it. All right. I was ready to go. Thankfully, some of this is gonna come off real easy. As soon as I get rid of this. What are you attached to? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Fuck off! Are you good now? Is this line? This whole line of things is still in the way. This line makes it the rest of it in the way, I guess. Even though it shouldn't, in my eyes. Apparently this whole line needs to be split. It's fine, we'll split it. Still a tiny bit more and then it's all gone. I just can't even see what I'm supposed to be picking up anymore because there's so much trash everywhere. And now that someone said that I'm mashing E like when someone plays Ark, I hate my life. You've ruined chunking for me. I hope you're happy. Chunking is ruined. <laughs> Lift it out of here! Oh, I'm, I'm, it's because I'm standing on it. It's time. Oh, it literally won't do it if I'm standing on it. Damn it. Get this bad boy out of here. Come on now. Get the rest of it out of here. This is big. Really? All right. All right, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Oh, fucking hell. Yo, you just took a lot of stuff with you when you left, asshole. The fuck? My trash! 
They just dumped a ton more. 800 kilograms. That's it? It's bullshit. That was way more than 800 kilograms. You're telling me that I... You're telling me that's 800? I don't believe it. Dude, my truck has 3,000 kilograms in it. You tell- I- dude, I could pick that up with my truck and haul it to the goddamn recycling zone. You're kidding me. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and split the other side, especially if that's the return I'm gonna get. I think it's time we scrap this part and grab a new one. Bring it back. How do I go? How do I empty stuff out of the warehouse also? Because like, I guess it's automatically done. I don't need to like go there or take anything out. It's just in there until I sell it, I guess. Well, goodbye, Green Rex. Uh, you were pretty cool. This is gonna be a long mini game. Bread. Bread. Huge winner! Jackpot! Damn! Damn! Huge. It's all sorted now. Shoot Prabhat, my friend. And now I have enough to uh, upgrade my gloves. Or specifically, for me, my hammer. Good. Hell, I might even do it again. Good. Now my saw. Still light on equipment. Can't do anything about that. Uh, crate. Upgrade. Why do I need crate? Oh yeah, that's my overall carrying capacity. What does gloves do? Pick up speed. Both of these need to be leveled. Okay. No more for that. Okay. Looking good. Let me sell the rest of the stuff that's still left over so I can buy myself something nice. Namaste, my friend. Don't sell equipment, though. Do sell pretty much everything else. God, we have a shit ton of metals. Sell, like, most of it. Don't sell non-metals, actually, right now. Just those ones. Yes. Leaves us $115. Which means we can just almost afford to get, well, not even if we sold everything would be able to get the chilling turtle. We can get ourselves the Snopkowicz. Which ain't bad. Nice well-rounded thing. Looks the same as the Carolyn, actually. Oh, this thing has a ridiculous amount of resources on it, though. We're gonna get it. Oh, I have to scrap the... Green Rex first, get that out of here. Get that out of here completely, goodbye. Snobkowicz, it's time. Imagine working this hard in this chat and getting zero dollars and 12 funny bucks. He read it. <laughs> Where are the funny bucks coming from, though? What are the funny bucks from? Wait, you getting funny bucks, Katie? Wait. What? 
What? Holy crap, look at the size of this bad boy. Katie, don't leave. Don't leave. Your, your funny bucks will be here any minute now. All right, I'm sending an entire shipment of them. It's costing me a fucking mint of real money. There's gonna be a gigantic pallet. I sent you, uh, I sent you like a shit ton of Monopoly money wholesale. It's worthless. <laughs> it's worthless. Damn, this is a fucking big ass goddamn ship. Holy crap. Damn. Guess we better get started then. Guess we better get unstarted then. Wonder how much this bad boy is gonna be worth it to me. Safety wristband now. Yeah, for how calloused my hands are, my wrists are actually very vulnerable. It's one of the biggest issues with this industry. This is the next thing to be severed. The ladder. And this weird pipe. There's no way this thing doesn't just fall, right? Like, this is huge. This should... There we go. Problem solved. Damn, dude, I pick up two things at a time now. Did I not drive my car here? Ain't no way I can throw... There is no way in a million fucking years... My guy thinks he can make this throw. Right, I'm gonna sink. No. Changes colors for a second. Right here. Is my car. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this guy should be like a fucking professional sports guy. Make him a fucking quarterback, dude. Holy shit. Like Olympic shot put. Discus. Something in sports. Make him sports. <gasps> Make him sports right now. I'm telling you guys, make him sports. <laughs> Picking up two things at a time is so fucking good. These are the best gloves I've ever owned. There's like stuff back there. There's like actual storage. Oh, I heard a bomb. Do you guys hear that? There's some electrical bullshit going on. I can hear it. Oh no. <laughs> just do that. Okay. Oh, you can just get in here. What the fuck? Damn. Big place. <laughs> Huh. Holy heck. Uh, what are even my jobs here? They need cardboard boxes, sink, and iron, and like this dude needs clocks and life buoys. Seems like most of the uh, contracts are for stuff that you pick up off the ground like this. Which is fine. I can handle that any day of the week. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I carve into this or do I have to just pick it up like it's normal? Okay, we just send this like it's normal. I was gonna be, I was kind of excited because I was wondering if we could like find out a, like, a, like a mystery box kind of thing, like a loot box, you know? 
Has he slept in game? Again, I don't sleep. I have a thin film of grease over both of my eyes and my eyelids are too calloused to close. I don't need to? Ever. Ship it. Why, pray tell, can you not reach this load? Why? What's in the way? Holy crap. This sledgehammer just went to... F it is crazy strong now, chat. Did you see how much... It's doing 50% per now. Chat, why do I simply not sever the entire bottom floor and the edges and just collapse this whole thing now that I'm way faster? Why does any of this matter? Boom. Boom. Let's just start fucking tracing the edge. Why do I have a comically sized claw hammer? When did all- when did this happen to me? When did I become so badass? If it's part of the floor, we break it. We're gonna drop this entire building. Everything else we can pick up after. This is so fast. Holy heck. Dude, look at the speed. <laughs> Incredible. Everything on the bottom floor has got to be detached. That's them's the rules now. That's them's the rules. All of it. Every last bit of it. Getting rid of all of it now. I keep hearing the sound of electricity, but I'm gonna ignore it. It's kind of easier to see in this game without the fucking flashlight on at night. Because it's just looking at the neon lights, like all the markers. Boom. 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 I love that. Dude, the upgrades just feel really good. I like just having more to pick up. Damn. There's something maddeningly addictive to all of it. It's pissing me off. Huck it. <laughs> and we keep chopping. Should've gotten an upgrade to the saw though, because it's like the other thing that's actually time consuming is like when I have to saw stuff. I should look into that. There we go. Either way, most of the time when I break stuff with the hammer, I don't end up needing to use the saw because I think I like break enough with the hammer that it just like shrugs and says you like damage it enough that you don't need to use it. So I'm kind of thinking if I just break every blue spot, I don't even have to do the saw. Oh. Holy heck. <laughs> Looking good. Making good progress. Is that a power line, or is that part of the, uh, stuff I gotta, like, fucking, uh, blowtorch open? I think it's blowtorch. Oh yeah, that's blowtorch shit. <laughs> Apparently that ain't co-op to this game. 
just like keep seeing like a patch notes for it on my other monitor because I always have like my Steam page for the game open when I play it for some reason. I didn't like co-op. Boom! <laughs> Not bad progress already. Uh, it says I have like something to do over at the uh... I'm, I, I'm actually gonna go over here and see if I can buy a saw upgrade. Quick. Oh, I have up to level four. I just have to get it. Okay. Namaste. Uh, I'm gonna need more liquids. I'm gonna need more equipment, which are both already in the truck. Apparently I can already upgrade my hammer again. Which would double its damage and, oh my God, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna double the damage of the hammer and turn it into a sledgehammer, I think. How, uh, how much is this gonna do here now? Cause I don't, dude, I mean, how much damage does it need before it's... Fucking Christ, you gotta be kidding me. One? Yeah, I'm just gonna tear this place down. He's a god! He's a freak of nature! Jesus, I don't even have to break anything. I don't have to cut anything. Scoop it all up. Toss it all in. We'll recycle, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do all of this. Get it all sent to the sorting machine. Turn it all into upgrades for the other stuff, because I want to get saws done and everything. Dude, it's going to be great. It's actually immensely satisfying all of a sudden. Holy crap. That is such a fun upgrade to like just suddenly have after the last mission. Huge. I just want to collapse this whole thing, even if there's a ton of valuables, and I just want to see it all fall. I just want to see it all fall! Good God, man. Good God. Jesus Christ, he's got the... <laughs> He's going crazy, dude. He's going cuckoo crazy. The streamer lost it, dude. Just break everything. Break everything. Break everything. Break all of it. Every last block. Break it all down. Everything. I'm going to destroy it all. Whoa! Hey, relax. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta upgrade everything else and all of a sudden I'll be cooking like crazy. Like stuff's already falling everywhere, dude. I don't think it's gonna take me that long to tear this whole thing down. Like genuinely, with how much fat. Like look at how fast I cleared out the whole front of this thing. Like it's pretty much just these uh, metal parts. And once I level up the saw, that'll be gone too. So fast. Mother of God. Whoa! I don't even need to do the saw, dude. It's falling on its own. Colossal. Colossal. Huge. But in the end, you're just playing a worse version of Ark. Stop. Stop being such a hater.
Dude, you're hating and it's cringe, man. You're being crung as hell. And honestly, I don't know how much more of it I can handle. Everything other than the hammer is a fucking scam. I'm telling you. I've started to see the way. The truth of it all. The hammer's all you need. Hammer and glove to pick up more things. Look at all this metal. All this delicious junk. <laughs> All this delectable junk for me. Yes. I wonder if that's gonna give me trouble, like if I have to like actually lift that out before I can destroy everything around it. I mean, it stopped me from getting to the floor beneath it, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a problem. Well, time to clear out this bullshit. Without actually using the fucking saw. It's just good. It's just really good. You know, it's just good. It's working. All of this is just very good. Mm hmm. Pretty much the whole front of this place is cleared. Down to the back part now. And that, like, weird section. Pop, pop. Turns out, uh, if you take the floor out from something, it, it can't exist anymore, which is really cool. Uh, really convenient for me. It just can't stay standing if there's no floor. See what I mean? See what I mean? Unless it's like this spot for some reason. Oh, this is probably being held up by this. One of the only things I tragically haven't upgraded at all. Very good. What the hell? Oh, here we go. There it is. Here's the problem. Yep. One more. Maybe we filter all this crap now? We've got like 2,000 kilograms almost in the truck. <laughs> See if maybe that's enough for me to, uh... God damn, I've already almost finished all of my, uh... <laughs> my fucking... Actually, I'm missing all the aluminum and plastic. Huh. Well, that's fine. It'll all come down in time. I don't know where the hell a sink is. It's not really been on my list of things. Oh. Whoa! There it is. Perfect. What a mess. It's really just the floors that get in the way. Probably, like, go upstairs and look for the other, like, specific things I need. I get the weird feeling a lot of it I can definitely grab in, like, ten seconds, because I haven't looked that hard. I reckon everything I need is very... Well, aside from, like, this, I can't even get that out. Some stuff I can't scoop out of here. Very easily. That's buoy I needed. Uh, oh, or, or, or was I? No, I need one more still. 
Wait a minute, I cut out all the ways to go upstairs. Whoopsie. Oops. Oh no. There we go. Look at this mess. Keep on scooping all this crap up. God, there's a lot of pipe hazard. You can find gas tanks on the ship. Destroying them before the gas is turned off will result in an explosion that will destroy a large part of the ship and the loss of valuable materials. Uh, never tell me what's dangerous. Ever. There's no such thing as gas leaks. They're not real. I don't care about them. Leave me alone. I'm unburdened by things like that. You get in his office. I, I feel like that door would have opened if I had tried it. You know, like, I, I don't think that door would have fought me that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm in. All right. Place is scooped. Mostly everything. I think I got almost everything. Another dartboard. Do I need that? <laughs> I do. Can't be that. Don't know why everyone's so fixated on dartboards and wants those so bad. It comes up a lot, actually. There's the filing cabinet part done. Jeez. Oh, I made this mess. That mess is one that I made. I forgot about all this crap. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna take all this stuff over and see if I will see what I can get for upgrades if I filter it all. Uh especially since I have some stuff to hand in. Yep, it's time. We're going back to continue on cooking up upgrades. Three thousand kilograms of shit inside the truck. Time. Sort the exits. Oh, I fucked it. God damn it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do to. Okay, I did it. Fixed it. First, I'm gonna go to the house. I'm gonna hand in what I have for that guy, the one, the first claim. Claim $60 for that, huh? Jesus. Not bad. Not gonna complain about that. No way. Now, let me see if there's anything I can upgrade. It says there's stuff, three things I can upgrade. Uh, saw? I don't even know if I need. I think I just want more crate right now. And more glove. Yep. And then I'll upgrade the saw to level two. Hell, I'll upgrade it to level three. Holy heck. All right, back to it. Now I got freaking bandages on these gloves. Okay. Actually, I need to not park it like this. Last time I parked it like this, it like I was throwing boxes over the truck by accident. How fast am I picking up now? Oh my god. Pretty fast. Carry weight doesn't level up as fast as everything else though, which I've noticed. Okay. 
Start tearing down the rest of it. We know the drill. Everyone knows what's happening now. Look at the speed. I could probably level it all up more if I just bought more upgrades. Give me that. And now I'm kind of just like fixated on breaking everything so I can just, um, see it all explode. You know? I've got a simple brain. It only wants to see shit explode. That's all. Like, all my brain wants to see ever is like this. Heavy elements on the ship will collapse when you destroy the floors that hold them in place in order to not lose any valuable elements. Destroy the elements connectors and lift it with a crane. Eh, whatever. That one was in the way. Huh. Also, none of the heavy elements have given me anything that's that, that that's valuable compared to uh, me just tossing everything in the <laughs> fucking truck. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. Uh, this has been a far better use of my resources and time than collecting the heavy elements. And sometimes just want to see everything explode. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't make me not want to collapse the whole thing, chat. I'm still collapsing the whole thing. I don't care about the heavy elements. The heavy elements should have fucking moved. Out of the way. Long before this. That blood ain't on my hands. You understand, ah? Uh... I'm opening this thing. I'm ripping this thing wide open and we're destroying all of it. I'm tearing it all down! Including the heavy elements! I'll, I'll, I'll rifle through the wreckage afterwards. That's what a junker does. Fall. Yes. It feels unsafe what I'm doing, I, I will be honest. Something about it is deeply wrong and not right. But I refuse to change my ways. Oh yes. We are in incredible danger right now. Oh yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's about to happen. The fall. Chat. The whole back has now been detached as well. I can't even see the fucking- I gotta like clear out more trash and throw it in the thing. Wait a minute. Idea. Why am I taking these individually to the truck? Put it all in boxes and throw it all on the ground. When I'm done with it. And then throw all the boxes separately later into the truck. So I can actually see what I'm fucking doing. Who cares about all this? The boxes will be fine regardless. My issue right now is I can't fucking see. Fuck it. We'll keep going. Okay, there's one of the last spots. <laughs> then we gotta start severing some of this crap.
spooky man how fast is this cut doesn't feel that much faster yet honestly that one doesn't feel as fast oh what can you do oh it's about to fall I can tell Whoa there! Whoa there! Don't got much more fight in it now! Okay, so apparently the only thing you ever need in this game is the sledgehammer, as we just confirmed, because everything can be broken around. Uh, so the sledgehammer is the only tool you need. Uh, we just confirmed it. This thing is about to fall, Chad, and when it does... I hope you're all ready. This might be one of the only times we actually need this, like, properly to cut these. Because these won't split otherwise. Not many more of those left. Easy now, we're down to the last of it. Did we cut the gas? Shut the f frick up. You ain't sounding like much of a junker saying things like that. Only this side now left. Of course, I didn't cut the gas. Then the explosion would be tiny and small. I want it to be big and dangerous and scary. What the hell did I do this all for? Let's load her up. <laughs> load it up. I'm still hearing the electrics are on, even though that's not possible. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. Can't we get to the bottom of the fucking pile? Jesus Christ. I need a vacuum. Yeah, I need- I literally need a vacuum to do this. Like, almost everything sur- oh, there's the gas line. Oh, chat! It just gave me an achievement for turning off the uh, pipe hazard uh, without having it uh, explode. So there you go. All you have to do to fix a pipe hazard is simply disassemble the entire house around the hazard. And then you're fine. So, uh, applies the same way to a boat. If you ever have a gas leak, just know that the gas leak can't leak inside of a house if it's not in the house anymore. Is what a mess. Dude, I've almost got 6,000 narco berries. Dude, I'm gonna be able to tame that freaking dino any day now, bro! Huge! I'm gonna make so many tranks, dude! Yes, dude! Yeah. It just never ends. There's so much <laughs> trash. Where's the ground? Where's the fucking ground? Okay, here's what we do. 
I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to buy an upgrade. I'm going to see if I can, like, sell a bunch of the metal I have in surplus and shit. And buy an upgrade for my gloves and the box. Because I've got a ton of metal still to sell. Good amount of liquids. A good amount of equipment. I'm going to sell all those. And convert them into upgrades. Hello. my friend. Buy that. That leaves me with enough to also buy an upgrade for the crate. Or not. Fuck. Namaste. You told me I need more li I need more freaking non-metals. I'm not gonna upgrade the saw, that was such a waste. My god. I guess I have to process all the stuff that's over here to get more non-metals sorted. It's fine, it's just gonna take us a million, billion, trillion years to pick up all this trash. It's not a big deal, it's just a million piles of garbage. Somewhere in here is a clock that Arturito really wanted. And that's honestly who I'm doing it for right now, chat. There is a clock that's really important to one guy I know. God damn it. I'm gonna get it. Wherever the hell it is. It's gotta be out there somewhere. Never ends. Dude, I've got five... <laughs> 5,000 kilograms in this truck right now. <laughs> Jesus. Did he just ruin the whole game for himself? This is the game. Don't ever speak for me and whether or not you think I ruined something. This is the game. I didn't ruin anything. This is the game. This is the game. I'm scrapping harder than ever before. I don't know if you've ever seen Ark before, but it's quite like this all the time. You just don't get it. Most of the time, you don't actually get to use the dinosaurs. I'm telling you right now. Most of the time, you run around, you mash E on bushes and metal to collect it. Okay? Sorry. Sorry to fucking ruin your immersion. But this is the game. And I'm sorry, but Vin Diesel won't be coming. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Six thousand fucking wait, 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 wait. What the fuck am I doing? What are the things that are still keeping these connected to each other? This front part. Never gonna find the connectors to this in a million, billion fucking years. In a million years, I'll never find all the connectors to this fucking thing. Yeah, right, under a thousand pounds of trash. Every time I think I'm at the point where I can see the ground, like the texture on the ground switches and tells me I'm not there yet. God damn, there's a lot of trash. Holy crap. Any day now we'll have been able to pick up this whole thing and get it the heck out of here. Just have no idea what's actually technically connected. Oh, it might be something on the back here. Maybe. 
more right here. And where's the cutoff in this? Ah, yes. I already split this one. And I split that one. Okay. Or did I? I did. Yeah, I'm at a loss and it's impossible. Forget it. I want to at least see how much I pull out of this from everything I already pulled in. Because, uh, this might be like an insanely long minigame. 6,900 kilograms of trash. Let's recycle the hell out of it. Sort the excess. Everything I do, I do for this mini game. Huge winner! Jackpot! 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 Holy crap! Fucking hell. Mere store mein aapka swagat hai. How much would I make if I sold everything? $142. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just that junker lifestyle. And that's just the junker lifestyle. It's not about the money. It's about the hustle and the grind. It's about the hustle and the grind, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. Uh, four hours, baby. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo! Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for junking. I appreciate it. I really do. Thanks for the gifted subs, donations, and bits as well. Really kind. Fun little relaxing game. Remind me of Hard Space Shipbreaker because they're basically the same game. Except frankly, um, as far as one that's streamable and like fun, like, and it isn't going to make me sick. Uh, I kind of like this one more because it wasn't like anti-gravity, like rotating around. I really like Shipbreaker, but, uh, like, kind of hard to, like, focus on, ever. But anyways, chat will be back tomorrow at the usual time, so keep your eyes peeled for that, okay? I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for coming on by. Laters.